Hey everybody, happy Easter. I hope you all had a blessed day today. Um, it was beautiful here in New Jersey and a little cold, but beautiful. So I pulled out the turquoise in Dina Wakely, and which is almost done. I've used it so much over the past year or so. Um, and also the Distress Paint in Twisted Citron. And that is a color from 2015. So I'm working in this journal and I pulled out these stamps by Growing Meadows on Etsy. And she has really awesome Christian stamps. So if you haven't checked her out yet, please do. And again, that's Growing Meadows on Etsy. And her name is Ty, and she's an awesome, awesome lady. And I am working in Mark 15, verse 39. And this particular, these verses right here talk about when Jesus died on the cross and, and the veil tore from top to bottom. And the centurion was looking at him and, and said, you know, yes. He is the Son of God. So, pretty powerful, pretty powerful. And um, so what I did was I pulled out the Dilutions, the new ink pad. And what they did at Ranger was they had Tim Holtz, Dina Wakely, and Diane Reevely uh, select four of their favorite colors and... Um, Put them in, and here's the other ones right here. There's Tim Holtz and there's uh, Dina Wakeley's. And so they chose their favorite colors, four of them each, and they made these big ink pads. And they are now made with archival ink, which is really, really, really cool, especially for mixed media artists because, you know, we like a lot of, a lot of mediums and everything and... So now we can use these colors without worrying about the colors running, you know, or moving or whatever. So, you know, I definitely, if they make more of those, I am getting them for sure. Um, and then I recently purchased these pens. They are pit pens. And I have pit pens, but I don't have a lot of the smaller ones like this. I like the uh, big brush. And um, so I, I purchased these at an Etsy store called Buy the Well for God. And the four is a number four. So it's Buy the Well for God. And um, these pens are really great. They come in one package and they're all, you know, different sizes. So I know I will use these a lot, a lot. So what I decided to do is see the, the green and the blue. It almost matches the green and the blue on the page. So what I figured I would do is take that green and put it up on top on the blue and then take the blue and put it on the bottom where the green is. And I'm still using a stamp from that same stamp set of ties. And I just want to get, you know, just a little bit of interest on here. I didn't want anything to really pop a lot. It's just, it was a little bit too plain. So I just needed to get a little bit of something extra on there. And this was the perfect touch she has in that stamp set. It's just this little, like, splatter kind of stamp. And it was just enough. It, it was just perfect for, for what I wanted on these pages and those crosses are from that same stamp set as well and this is the front of the journal it says hallelujah and it has a little bird and <laughs> this right here um i was just i actually did this on periscope first and then i brought it over here to youtube but i was just showing everybody on periscope why this page like on the left side was lumpy and it's because the pages before it you know I have a lot going on on them <laughs> 
So it was much easier to work on the page on the right because it was still flat. Um, so at this point, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, okay. Um, I ended up changing out this particular um, ink pad to a, a bigger ink pad. Um, but I am just stamping. Um, the stamp says Risen Savior. And it, it's a new stamp, so I always like to stamp it off on a, like, a, like practice with it just to, to get it going. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. And because I am stamping on acrylic paint, and this happens to me every time I stamp on acrylic paint, <laughs> it doesn't come out real crisp. So I started to take one of those pit pens and um, just to make it bolder and easier to read. And I, and I did finish that after the Periscope. Um, and I'll show you at the end of this video the finished page. Um, so I also had this washi tape from Documented Faith. And um, it says, I am loved, I am forgiven, I am grateful. So I wanted to pull that onto the page. I knew on the bottom I wanted to you know, write part of the scripture. And I didn't want it just floating, right? So that's why I used the washi. And it wasn't real sticky. And it's fun, weird because it's not that old. So it really wasn't sticky at all. <laughs> I mean, it like barely stuck down at all, which is weird. But anyway, I was able to put on some of the Liquitex matte medium and it was fine because you know nothing else on this page is shiny so that matte medium worked perfectly and I gave it a good dry and now I'm going to use the the pit pen and I'm writing mark 15 verse 39 and then across um, on top of the washi I will write um, I think I wrote he said I think that's what I wrote. Um, isn't that funny? Um, he is the son of God. I know that. Did I write he is? Whatever. <laughs> Remember the, the first couple words that I wrote. Oh, truly, this man is the son of God. And then also in the final picture, picture you'll note that under that washi, I wrote on there, the centurion said, um, that's what I ended up doing. So I'm just going to hold it up for you to see. Like I said, I will fix the words, and you're going to see that right now. I also have the um, uh, business card for Growing Meadows right here, as well as um, a little shout out to By the Well for God. Thank you so much, and God bless everybody.